So here we are in the entryway of my house. And what I've got here is I've got a painting that I did in 2011. Now here's the thing about this painting. It's got this little bit of damage right here. And the damage is actually barely even noticeable from the front. In fact, you really have to know where it is and look for it to actually see it. But here's the thing, when I'm in my house, a lot of the time I have the door open like this. Now, as you can see, the door just barely hits the painting and it's not actually causing any more damage to the painting. But I guess the way that I think is that if it ever did cause any more damage to the painting, then it wouldn't really matter because the painting's already got that little bit of damage anyway. Now I'm fully aware that I could put something on the baseboard or something behind the doorknob to prevent the door from hitting the painting. And I just might do that, but I just haven't done it yet. So I actually spend quite a bit of time in this area. My office is right here and my art studio is right here. So I see this painting a lot and I actually really like the painting. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a frame that really brings out the best of the painting. Now the painting's got like this sort of flame look to it. So what I thought I would do is make like a flame frame. Now, you know, the, the wall here is nice and big, so I'm not really limited on space, so I don't need to make a really small frame. So what I thought I would do is maybe make something a little wider than normal, maybe like three and a half, four inches wide, and take like some pine, do a basic frame, and then cut some flame shapes into the wood. So like I say, this is just an experiment. This is just me just having some fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out to my work area and see what I can come up with.
pieces of puzzle Only we can figure out Flying into space Heading to our world Our own Clear right through the haze We are just like Fuel and fire She gave my soul redemption The moon, the sun, the different colors in the sky Thrusting through my mind's exemption Looking down on the world below Know for sure I will never let you go back in the entryway of my house and I got the painting hung. Now, I originally started the frame in February of this year and I worked on it for three days in February and then I put it away until June and then I got it back out and I worked on the distressing and the finish for a few days 
I actually put some time into it because I really wanted the frame to have just the right look. So now that it's October, I finally decided that it was time to hang the painting. I don't know why it takes me so long to do these things, but sometimes it just takes a while. And it's actually October 30th, one day from Halloween, which is my favorite holiday. So I'm gonna wear my hat. Now I did end up installing the door stop, which is great because now the door doesn't hit the painting or the frame. I should have done that a long time ago, but it's just one of those things that I put off. Now, here's the thing is I can't really put the camera straight on the painting in the frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rearrange in here a bit, maybe try to get in the Halloween spirit. There, that's better. Now I'm in the Halloween spirit. So I didn't do a Halloween painting this year. I painted this one here and this one here in 2007. And I really enjoy doing Halloween paintings. Now, this obviously isn't a Halloween painting, but it does have quite a bit of orange in it. And there's a lot of different shades of orange. And to me, it's got a little bit of that Halloween spirit in it. Now, the whole idea with the frame was to bring out the best of the painting. And the frame actually could be considered a work of art within itself. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in on it and take a closer look at it. Mm -hmm. 